Hey guys, it's Tanya and I'm about to turn 27 years old on August 27th, which means it's my golden birthday. So we're gonna do a Stranger Things Thanks. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. <laughs> Stranger Things and 80s themed birthday party because on top of loving the show, I've always wanted to do an 80s theme party. We're gonna get started with the hardest part, which is the Demogorgon. It's gonna take about... I hope less than three days, because the party is in three days. <laughs> it's a big project. We're gonna yeah. do this Demogorgon with the whole like open mouth with a bunch of oh, teeth in it. Petals or whatever petals, it is. Whatever. The reason why we're saran wrapping Jose is because we're gonna make a mold or a cast out of it. So we can start shaping the Demogorgon. Ooh. Okay. I'm skinnier now. I feel like this is like a corset, it's keeping everything in. To wear a nice shirt. Ugh, I can't breathe. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this quick. Oh, you got my, my hair. How do you feel? It's constricted. I'm a little bit worried because I can barely breathe. Once we were done with the cast, we cut it off of Jose and then we taped it back together. Now we're gonna put newspaper into the body so it keeps its form. Half of Demogorgon. There it is. A little long heat that right there on the side. Look. What are you talking about? A little long heat that right That's there. That's muscle. <laughs> For this part, we're gonna saran wrap my arms. Because your arms are skinnier and more demo gorgon looking. Are they really? <laughs> I'm just Jeez, kidding. Is that a compliment or an insult? <laughs> now it was my turn to get my arms casted. Oh, it hurts. The shoulder hurts. Now it is time to take off the cast here. Ow! What the heck? Just kidding. Ooh, wow, that feels so Oh, it's so itchy. We then had to Frankenstein my arms onto the body. Okay, so this is Jose's torso. And this is my arm. It's gonna be our Demogorgon baby. I touched an old head that Tanya had laying around from her wigs. Now it's time for my favorite part, paper mache. I've done it before. I'm gonna do it a different way than I did last time. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna try to use a paintbrush to brush on the paste onto the paper while the paper's on the mannequin already. I'm hoping that it's easier this way, hopefully. Day two of making the Demogorgon. The Demogorgon's kind of skinny. It has like its bones showing, like its collarbones. I'm not even sure how anatomy works, so I'm kind of guessing. Putting some tissue paper here to finish it off. I'm putting on the fingers now. Got the fingers right here. Making them out of foil. This is usually what I do and then put paper on my share around it. It's starting to look really badass, better than I expected. For the hands, I have to use tissue paper for the paper mache to get this covered. It's a lot easier to use for small parts like this. It's the day before the party and we still have a ton to do. Jose is working on the paper mache demogorgon. I need to work on the portal wall to the upside down. We have a few friends coming over to help us. My friend Christina finally came over to help me upcycle this luau board that I had since I was a kid into a hawking sign. It was simple, we just painted it over with brown paint and then wrote hawkings and yellow letters. We're putting up Stranger Things stickers that my mom bought for me from Wish. I'm putting lights all over our living room so it looks like Joyce Byers' house in the season one where she has a ton of Christmas lights everywhere. Vanessa's the light holder, she's a designated light holder. <laughs> Vanessa put caution tape on our office door to give it that spooky vibe. So I'm working on the portal to the upside down and I have this plastic bag thing. I rolled up different sizes of parchment paper. Then I wrapped them in black trash bags. I grabbed my scissors and I cut it up to give it texture. And then I had to repeat those steps a million more times. I'm gonna start basically our portal into the upside down. At this point, it was super late, so I was just putting branches wherever. And honestly, I like how it came out. Better than I expected. Wake up. It's the day of the party. We have six hours to get stuff done. Mm. Yeah, finish the Demogorgon. I got a couple hours left. I slept like tops maybe an hour. Yeah. And we got a lot of stuff to do. I made the Demogorgon's petals out of foil and paper mache so it could be a little bit more sturdy. This is taking way too long to dry and I need to get this done already. And once again, we're rushing to get this done. This dries it up a lot quicker. I'm kind of running low on sleep right now, but I'm trying to finish this Demogorgon. I'm kind of cutting corners because I just want to finish this. I only put one layer of paper mache on this, so it's still kind of flimsy. I'm just going to top glue the petals here. Three days worth of work right here. 
I quickly attached the petals on it and started painting it because we were running out of time. I had to do this quick. While Jose was finishing that up, I put up the Stranger Things wall and the rest of the decorations. Now I'm painting the inside. I got some glossy red, but it's not red enough, so I'm gonna put some regular red in there too. We got one hour until the party, and I have to put the teeth on here. I'm not kidding you when I say that we had no time to spare. I love how the decorations came out, even though we're doing it to the last minute. our Demogorgon baby. He came out cute, but kind of spooky. There's my 80s look. Check it out. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> Flock of seagulls there. <laughs> How do you like the decorations here? The decorations are bitchin'. Honestly, mm. I like so stunned that we got this done in like three days. I like, feel like we mostly spent time on the demo on this, Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I like can't wait to see what people say. All right, tell okay. me about your outfit, then. Um, I'm dressed up as Eleven from season three. Kind of. Kind of. It's inspired. Okay, so it's inspired. <laughs> I was gonna do the painted shirt, but I didn't have enough time, so just doing a black shirt. I got this fanny pack. <laughs> I'm excited to estrenar right here. <laughs> my checkered vans. My mom jeans. And then I have these hoops and a scrunchie. I haven't crunched my hair like this since it's like two thousands. The guests arrive and it was time for this bitchin' party to start. Oh my god, the Trip, like Geo Metro. <gasps> Uh, it looks so beautiful. The one thing that you need to know about me is that I love encouraging my friends to dress up. So it was cool that they took on this theme and they seriously look like they were straight out of the 80s. This is a cake that my friends Ale and Eric made for me. It's actually become a tradition because they made last year's cake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. You guys, I am still in this belief that we were able to get this party done in three days. Our comment of the day comes from Panda Room. Thank you so much for that comment. We appreciate it. We love you. Don't kill us. <laughs> oh my god, that's weird. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and until next time, bye.